That was a strange movie. Or like video. I don't know. I wish I didn't see it. Kind of, I was gonna say kind of, but it's like I wish I didn't see it. It just is like gross. It's like creepy. Why did he eat his friend? It's like Ugh. my friend. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's like uh, uh, you didn't have to eat him. I thought she was gonna be like, that was just a weird, disgusting twist. Well, anyways, next time we go out, I just gotta take lead if we're just gonna talk to some girls, cause I thought uh, thought he was, but um, pretty much all day today has not. I mean, there have been some girls that have been worth approaching. I didn't feel like necessarily approaching them, except for maybe like one. But it seemed like I didn't. So record yourself more. In these situations, that way you can uh, kink out any of the um, errors you see. So that's uh, in your own behavior. And um, actions, reactions, doing what others say, and new perspectives. Anyway, you know what, I'll just segue this into what I was going to talk about. So, yeah, a new perspective, because Dad was saying that growing up, I used to hog the TV. And that's why, part of the reason why, just one of the reasons why, well, he created individual rooms for my brother and I. Amazingly, I don't remember hogging the TV. Now... I did play video games after school, but I don't ever remember fighting with my brother about hogging the TV. We was video game it was two player actually. San Andreas. It was a two player. Well, if it was one player, I didn't finish it because I didn't play it. Well, but it's just funny how like, not funny, but he just remembers a completely different storyline of um, how I acted and what his reasoning was for things. Also, what they were saying about, what he was saying about why my room was so small. It was like a closet to me. He was saying, I was seeing what you were gonna do. And I knew what you were gonna do, you got that cat. And I was seeing what you've done with bigger space. And albeit, I may have, uh, I may have probably kept it dirty, but I would still like want a same size room as my brother. Oh, mm -hmm. maybe that's what it is. It's like I just wanted how what he had. Mm -hmm. See the way I think it, and the way I say it, it's two different things. Mm -hmm. Waste. Tool. Powerful weapon. That's what I was thinking. What I said though was different. Hmm. So, anyways, um, what else happened? Cousin and I, we went and did some some good. <laughs> we were making some friends at the mall, so we were talking. Um, Talking to some girls. And getting some numbers. And making some connections. And uh, apparently we could have transitioned to the Cheesecake Factory if I would have knew how to transition. I thought it was, I asked, I asked her, like, what is she doing after, or later? And she was saying, going to the Cheesecake Factory. And my cousin would have been like, let's go to the Cheesecake Factory with them. Or the movie, just let's go to the Cheesecake Factory. And I was like, uh, I just asked what she was doing after. I wasn't trying to, like, join her. 
I'm going to use case here, three. Or how I would say is I wouldn't, how I also said it earlier was I wouldn't want to invite myself to like their dinner. But apparently that's like, he's like he, she, apparently she told me that for a reason because she, she was giving me the logistics. This is a different terminology. But it makes, it makes a world of difference. And so that was like something for me to know to join. Oh, no, no, no. Transition with them to um, the Jesus Day Factory. Because the girl I was talking to, she told me, but I don't know what the girl that was talking to Jordan told her, told him. I could overhear them, but I wasn't, I was having my own conversation, so. I could use like though. It seemed like what like he was saying kind of correlated to somewhere with what I was saying. It was like like a negative emotion with a positive emotion. And um hey, one of those days. Not a good day. So um, it was cool. We were just, what did he say? They have all these people. I've been reading this new book called, um, it's a new book about dating. But it's also about like, mm, it's about like social dynamics. Like human social dynamics. Like male and female. Like what women want. And what they think about. How they feel. I'm do like. A book about survival. And a book about. Uh, replication. So. Uh, Interesting book. I think I should, I think it's like my cousin. Uh, he basically is just supposed to just like, help me get girls, help you get girls. Talk to more women, talk to girls. I mean, I'm at this age, I'm like 24, so I'm not a boy. So I wouldn't be talking to like a, a girl. I'll be talking to a, a woman because I'm like 24 now. So that is one of those things to say. Oh, this is my girl. Friend. <laughs> Damn, I'm trying to hold this up. Shout out to Pringles uh, advertisement. At some point, um, I'll start getting some, some sponsors. Sponsorship advertisement. Advertising. Okay. And um, other than that, I was going to go to the hookah lounge again today. Actually, that probably would be a good idea because I had set up with my friend to go with her to the hookah lounge. But it seemed like something came up where um, she, she wasn't sure that she was actually going to go today. So, since I am at my cousin's house, we could just go to another hookah lounge again and run this uh run the setback as far as like talking to some girls getting a hookah um that's kind of like <laughs> the best thing to do having conversations and uh yeah and i'm gonna keep reading this new book i got because it's basically in the same vein <clears throat> oh and also i ordered some books that are inspired by my cousin. It's like, like what what white people talk about, like conver conversation topics. And it's just like, I don't even think people like paid attention or to enough to write down like what are they talking about. Cause I thought they would just like talk about. I don't think people would like 
kept track of like what people talk about and we make like a book about it. Especially for like white people, black people, Asian people. That's just like, kind of like why? Well, anyways, I'm with him. I got the book. It's one of those spontaneous decisions where uh, it's like, you know what? I would have never thought to buy this book. So let me just go ahead and get it. Maybe I'll learn a fresh perspective. My cousin's perspective is pretty, uh, it's a good, it's got a good perspective. I think, you know, it's, uh, it's something I can definitely utilize. Well, yeah, I mean, he's my cousin, so we have similar personalities, but it would be cool to uh, just, like, see the world through his eyes. I think, like, a lot of the advice he gives me is what my blind spots are. So, um, that way, I, like, I have less blind spots, which is, like, amazing. Nope. So, uh, I, I can see clearly. <laughs> Other than that, though, um, yeah, I'm thinking definitely I probably should finish this whole container of chips. You know, these good calories in. I'm just feeling like I don't want to eat. Or... The opposite of that is I'm feeling like I'm hungry. I'm feeling hungry. That's interesting. I said I feeling like I don't want to eat. That would sound like I'm not hungry. But uh, that's not what I mean. See, I do. I did it again, but I caught myself this time. So that's like that means I'm getting better, getting more aware. Little by little. Remember, go hard on the confused. And you are oftentimes confused. Alright. Farewell.